Trump celebrates as FBI informants video shows Russia sending Hillary secret suitcases. President Donald Trump is celebrating after learning that an actual video exists of Russian government officials packing secret suitcases while telling an undercover FBI agent to take them to Hillary Clinton. What the Russians were packing in those secret suitcases for Hillary is a game of gainer, and immediately, she reacted by lashing out at the president, calling him a dictator and adding, if Trump comes after me it's abuse of power, as the liberal media covers this all up. Forget what the fake news is touting as big news stories because there is nothing that even comes close to this. After months of speculation and solid circumstantial evidence that Hillary Clinton and her crime cartel orchestrated a backdoor deal with the Russians, selling off our uranium stores for millions in bribes and kickbacks, we now have video proof. The Hills John Solomon identified and is also in contact with the undercover FBI agent, William Campbell a consultant who worked for the Russian Nuclear Regulatory Agency. Campbell's role was informing the FBI of all the illegal activity that was going on between Hillary Clinton and her crime cartel and the Russians. Campbell was also present when the FBI captured video evidence of the actual bribes going between Hillary and the Russians in 2009, for arranging the Uranium One deal that screwed Americans out of our own uranium stores and made Hillary and Bill millions, and it's all on video which Obama saw and, according to insiders, said, it's not enough evidence to launch an investigation. Yeah, there is a suitcase full of money that the Russians open up and around $50,000 in one and there is another videotape where you see them, Hillary and her staffers, stuffing, cash, and envelopes to give to Russian dignitaries when they come to the United States, it, is the type of bribery case and type of images that will get people to understand why there is such concern about what Hillary and Russians were doing, said John Solomon. Campbell's attorney, Victoria Tonsing, said on Fox Business that former attorneys general under the Obama administration are the reason her client hasn't been able to tell what all the Russians were talking about during the time that all these bribery payments were made, reports the Daily Caller. The undercover FBI informant will testify next week before Congress, as the Daily Caller adds, Department of Justice spokeswoman Sarah Isker Flores told The Hill that a deal was reached in late October, clearing the informant to talk to Congress for the first time, almost eight years after he first went undercover. Immediately, Hillary panicked, and she lashed out like a wounded animal. She got the news about the videos while being interviewed by Mother Jones and she launched into a tirade, attacking President Trump. In an exclusive interview with Mother Jones, Clinton said such an investigation would have devastating consequences for the justice system in America, reports Mother Jones. If they send a signal that we are going to be like some dictatorship, like some authoritarian regime, where political opponents are going to be unfairly, fraudulently investigated, that trips at the fabric of the contract we have that we can trust our justice system, Hillary Clinton claimed. It will be incredibly demoralizing to people who have served at the Justice Department, under both Republicans and Democrats, because they know better, whined crooked Hillary, adding, but it will also send a terrible signal to our country and the world that somehow we are giving up on the kind of values that we used to live by and we used to promote worldwide. What a bunch of malarkey! Like some dictatorship! Like some authoritarian regime, this type of language is Hillary lashing out as she feels the heat. Her real thoughts are, oh crap, they have that on video? I'm sure she dropped the F-bomb in private as she called her attorney. There are still Obama holdovers inside the DOJ who tried to squash this story. When it first broke, they anonymously leaked to Reuters that Campbell's got nothing. This case incriminates Barack Obama who as president signed off on the Uranium One deal, and it incriminates Robert Mueller, who was the FBI director in 2009 and knew all about what Hillary was doing, and did nothing. They are all in on it, and so is James Comey, who took over as FBI director after Mueller. These rats are behind the bogus Trump-Russia investigation, and now, we know why they were so adamant in bringing a special counsel against Trump. They were in cover-up mode. But they forgot about William Campbell, who is dying of cancer and told his attorney, I just want to tell the truth before I die. Now that his identity has been discovered, 
he told his attorney that he does fear for his life. Let's hope and pray for this man, who is trying to do the right thing. It seems like the Clinton crime cartel will never see justice, but never is a long time. We have all the evidence we need, and if anyone can pressure the DOJ to do the right thing, it's President Donald Trump. Trump.